Yo, so have you been making a model for Unity or any other game engine and it's been kind of laggy? So one of the reasons can be that you are using a ton of materials inside of Blender. You can easily rack up like 10 different materials. And if you go into like a game engine, like Unity or Unreal Engine, it has to render each material. So you could be rendering 10 materials, which makes it like if you had 10 models or 10 different things. I'm gonna show you quickly how to set up a UV texture atlas, which will save on all the performance issues uh, related to having a ton of materials. So yeah. Okay guys, so here we are over on the PC. So firstly, what you're gonna do, if you have multiple materials already, so you can see I have a ton of them, uh, you going to have to obviously change uh, or make them all have the same material if you want to do the texture atlas. So firstly, uh, what you can do in the outliner up here, you're going to change it from your viewer layer to your blender file and then click on materials and then select all of them but one, right click and delete. If you just have one character, obviously you could just size or whatever. Um, so firstly, it's just get this what this mesh to have the material applied and then we can select everything or right, let's deselect the camera so we select the body so we have the material control l right, so hover over here control l and link material so now every object has the same material okay so what we can do now so let's just test this out just check okay some of them don't have the same material because they have empty slots uh Okay, cool. So the entire thing is now on the same material. Now if we go to shading, let's just uh, apply a simple image. So I'm just gonna go Shift A, add a image, image texture. So let's go color to base color, and then new, and then we can change this to be like a, I don't know, five by five. We don't need that many colors. So we actually need none, or well, we need about 10, 11, so let's just make it a uh, what four by four. Okay. So now, uh, what we're going to do to unwrap this all is if we go. So now we're going to sort out the UV. So let's just set it up with some basic colors actually first. So you can see we have the super spore piece, and if we try painting on it, you can see that it's just like one pixel. So I'm just going to just add some colors in. So these aren't my final colors, but just add in some. Okay, so if when you're doing your colors, when you're painting on your colors, obviously you don't want it to be like painting on like a ton of different pixels at the same time because it's such a low res image. So what you can do is you can like scroll across. If you have a split, you can just scroll down and you can see where it says uh, fall off. Okay, so like you can go through all these different options. If you just click on constant, it will still paint on multiple ones. So what I changed it to was in custom. So by default, yours will be like this. So what you want to do is you want to get it to just behind the middle. Okay, so like just like you can see it's 0 0.48 and you drag the other one to be almost exactly the same. So it's almost like a direct fall off. And then you can see that you can just click and it will fill in one, uh, what's it, one pixel at a time. So if you choose the color, and you can just see, you can just paint it directly on. So you don't have to go and like paint on each other. And yeah, cool. Hey, by the way, this video is sponsored by my own course. Uh, it's on Skillshare, and it's linked down below. You get one Friday month of Youth Skillshare Premium with it, and it's a course all about how to make uh, low-poly characters from the beginning to the end. So just go down to the link in the description to get one month of free Skillshare and the course. Cheers. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, UV Atlas in this. So what UV Atlas scene is just basically taking an entire part that needs to be one color and just going so like say it's you unwrap. So you can see like this is the body. So we want this to be like a I don't know, blue color, it doesn't really matter that much. Um and then we have the shirt. So we want so we just select the shirt, uh you unwrap, scale this down, let's give it a red color. Let's go select the bulletproof vest. So let's select the body and then you unwrap. Scale this down, give it a green color. And then if you wanted to add like a specific part of it, 
then you just select like an edge and then control E. Wait. So you go control E mark seam and then like the other side like this. Control E mark seam. And you can see if I go U unwrap now uh you can see if I go U unwrap now two parts and we can have one part be green and then the other part be red. Okay. You can see uh one thing uh with this the reason so you can see it's like smoothing between them you can see if we go to the image texture it's over here uh it's on flat I mean linear and we want to change that to closest and I can see everything is blocky not blended together okay and then we can just like start selecting pouches uh you unwrap scaling them down and yeah so this is the entire workflow that you'll probably use to do the entire thing. So it's just selecting, unwrap, and then put it down. So you can maybe blenders, texture paint, you can probably mess around with the settings to actually paint one dot. But I find doing it like this is completely fun. And then you can change colors whenever you want. So you go like texture paint. And then say I want so the skin colors blue. So we would go add a skin color. And then paint on the blue like this. And you can see now it's a skin color. So we have the shoes. So we'll go you unwrap and then give it like a purple. There. So you can see that is just the basic workflow for UV texture, uh, UV atlasian. Okay, cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to fix your laggy textures and set up a uh, UV atlas. Yeah, cheers.